Hello, welcome to another class of digital design with Berilog. Today class we will discuss about RTL design and in particular algorithmic state machine design. So, any digital system on our design. So, FSM is uh, uh, good for smaller examples. So, whenever the example are bigger in real life systems, FSM have some issues. So, that we will discuss in today classes. Outline of today classes, drawback of finite state machines. We have already discussed about finite state machines. We can design very good digital system with finite state machine, but there are some important or interesting uh, drawbacks of FSMs are there. So, that is how we need to go for some better models to design digital system. So, better model is uh, algorithmic state machines which uh, comprise of FSM plus data path, FSM plus DP. And in FSM, so algorithmic state machines, so what are the building blocks of FSM and then how we can model first uh, some set of examples we looked at how we can model the general FSM using ASM. Then we will go for uh, proper uh, ASM designs. So, reference material for uh, this lecture is uh, chapter 8 of Manu book. So, whatever our reference book, digital design at RTL level and chapter 15 of Kumar book. So, A. Anand Kumar, Fundamental of Digital Circuit, third editions. So, these are the two books, uh, we take material from these two books. And first let us discuss what is the drawback of FSM, what is the drawback of finite state machines. So, FSM for smaller example is fine. So, whenever there are a lot of data involved in digital system, particular sequential system, it is very difficult to model using FSM. So, how it is difficult let us see. So, whenever many input and many outputs are there, it is awkward to list all of this edge transition arc in FSM. This is one reason. On any given arc, so in general what happens in real life systems? So, typically most inputs are do not care, typically most output are unchanged from the setting in the previous states and it is really tedious and repetitive to do list all the state and all the input output exhaustively. So, it is not necessary. Okay, so, in FSM these are the major drawbacks. So, it is not a clear structure for illustrating or designing control flow. And what about generic memory or data? Suppose you take 64 bit memory, okay, 64 bit memory or 64 bit register. So, in a 64 bit register, so we can model 64 bit register using FSM, but whenever you want to design FSM for 64 bit register, so how many states will be there? 2 to the power 64, we will not be able to tabulate, we will not be able to draw the FSM for 64 bit register. That means, we will not be able to model a register using FSM. 32 bit register, 32 bit counter will not be able to model. Then what is the use of FSM then? So, this is the major drawback. FSM have problem of state space explosion. So, whenever the data components or memory components use larger bits than it is very difficult to model using FSM. So, what about this generic memory or data and we say do they really need to be part of the states? If you have many bits of data, this would lead to a huge states, huge number of states. Example, state diagram of counter or shift register is really pointless. 32 bit counter have 2 to the 32 states and in, in a digital system suppose you are using a counter 32 bit counter and we want to represent using FSM then it is actually useless, it is of no use. 
and it is similar analogous to combinational circuit design. So, combinational circuit designs using tooth table is ok or easy for small problem, it is ok or easy for small problems, but whenever the number of input and output grows then tooth table method is completely useless, it is not, it cannot handle ok. Suppose you want to design a adder 32 bit adder or suppose uh, 16 input mocks multiplexers, can you design using tooth table method? No, tooth table method get out of hand because you will not be able to table the input output using tooth table for a 32 bit adder, this is absolutely we cannot do because uh, 2 to the 32 listing out 2 to the 32 input suppose you are using 32 bit adder then number of input will be 32 for one input another 32 for another input and output will be again th 32. So, 2 to the power 64 input different varieties and is very difficult to handle and not only that. So, we require to handle 32 output functions also, 32 output functions of each function having 2 to the power 64 different values. So, which is we cannot do similar to that. So, in FSM also it is similar thing. So, design two level circuit for 32 bit error is using two table methods is really useless or is not desirable. 64 input 32 output 32 or 33 output using two table method worst case delay will be 2 to power 63 or get delay because how many uh, worst case how many number of one will be there in the truth table because truth table have 2 to the power 64 thing. So, 2 to the power 63 or get delays will be there and worst gate gate size will be number of product terms. So, this was just number of product term which is 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. So, number of product term if grows like anything 32 means 2 to the power 32. So, it is not desirable to do tooth table method of designing a adder or multiplier multiplexers. As this problem is in combinational circuit domain. Similarly, in sequential circuit domain also we face this exactly similar issue. Whenever you want to model a register, a counter of more than 16 bit or 32 bit then the FSM size get out of hand, we will not be able to design using hand. Also it is not desirable to do with computer also. So, in case of a adder, so we use a prefix some methods, carry locate method, use different approach to get the circuit, optimize circuits, not the RCA ripple carry adder, we use go for prefix some standard algorithmic method to do this thing, but we will not do with actually two table methods. Drawback of FSM as discussed earlier, so some problem of sequential design small, small problem it is uh, design is very easy. So, uh, in earlier classes we have uh, designed uh, FSM for many digital problems, digital design sequential problems, but in real life digital design problem where data is more useful data oriented state diagrams are not helpful, FSM are not helpful whether it is more FSM or merely FSM both are not helpful. Already stated, so state diagram of 32 bit counter or shift register is pointless, suppose 32 bit counter have 2 to the 32 states and the solution is ASM algorithmic state machines or FSMD finite state machine with data or we can say RTL based design, register transfer level design. So, we include register for storing data and then 
design. So, that means memory element we try to what I can say make out of the design particularly data path memory element and actual compute unit we make out of the state machines. So, all terms ASM, FSMD and RTL based design all are similar thing all three things are similar thing. So, ASM, FSMD, RTL are similar terms. ASM means algorithmic state machines, FSMD means FSM with data path. RTL designs we use a register transfer level design. Okay. And in this case, particularly whenever we say ASMD or ASM, FSMD and RTL design. So, what we basically define is define what work to be done at each clock cycle. So, what we do is define what work to be done at each cycle that get decided and we try to emphasis on cycle based design and what work to be done. This work can be little bit uh, loading to register, incrementing counter, additions, multiplications, little bit bigger work. Algorithmic state machines, another representation of finite state machines, another representation improved versions we can say with data elements, compute element and selection elements are separated particularly error, multiplier, counter, register and multiplexer are separated from the actual FSM. Okay, FSM with data path, we can say FSM with data path and suitable for FSM with larger number of input and output. As compared to FSM, it is expressed within stake diagram and state table in FSM, but in ASM, so it is also similar, but we include one more thing. So, that is actually FSM part and data path with separated out and FSM we generally describe using ASM in this case and data path are separated. So, in this way ASM is more powerful as compared to FSM. So, in this case ASM in general we generally separate controller and data processor, data path and controller we separate it out. ASM we need to separate controller and data path or data processor. So, controller what action to be taken, what is the fundamental operations or operating mode that get decided, what get done at what cycle controller decides, controller take input from external world also status, processor undertake actions manipulate the data, store the data, okay, increment or decrement counters. So, it undertake the actions processor or data path to the undertake the actions, controller decide what action to be taken. So, ASM have actually both controller and data processor. Controller is almost similar to FSM we can say, but whenever you include both it comprise of ASM. The ultimate goal is to design in RTL, ultimate goal is RTL designs.